tonight. A fresh start for some local moms, moms that were about to spend Mother's Day in jail. Welcome in. I'm Jim Dunaway. I'm Sherry Jackson. Community groups raised money to help bond out women from across our area. CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark talked with one of those mothers. And Michael, these are women who just can't afford bail themselves. Yeah, that's right, Sherry. Veronica Maiden was unable to pay her way out, but tonight she's just thankful she'll be able to spend Mother's Day with her brand new baby grandchild while she waits for her day in court. Wings and a sandwich. Veronica Maiden's first meal after being behind bars for 64 days. I thought it was a joke, but this really just made my mother's day, and I'm really thankful. Thankful to those who raised thousands of dollars so groups like Black Lives Matter Birmingham could bail out several mothers for their special day. It is somebody out there that's thinking about us. And they, they care about us. And y'all is not for God. Because there's somebody out here working for y'all. The mission is personal for organizers like Kara McClure. Something bad happened to a good person. I was locked behind bars. Uh, while I was locked, as I was being handcuffed, I looked at my son's face. And the look on his face just uh, was excruciating for me. McClure focused on mothers who couldn't afford bond, locked up for petty offenses. Just to think of any time away from my child uh, was painful. And so I thought about these moms being away from their children. That had to be very hard, not on just the moms, but also the children. Maiden is ready for her second chance. Her mom is coming in from Florida for the weekend, and the rest of her family is in for a big surprise. It's just really emotional for me, and I'm just ready to see my family, my son and my daughter and my new grandbaby. Now, organizers are still hopeful that they can bond out a few more moms before Sunday. Live in Birmingham tonight, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.